Okay, let's start this tale of the high voltage section. This is the driver board here, and then this section up here is the uh, high voltage area. I've changed the two big caps that were there. Well, I've changed a lot of parts. Um, let me show you. This was the uh, old cap that was in there. I, I think this one was actually here, and there's another one here. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see if I can tell by looking at it. Um, I thought I would. Anyway, <laughs> doesn't matter. Um, this one's the five volt for five volts, and this one's for the high voltage. But this one, if it's old, could have uh, AC leakage across it, which could go to your MPU, which could be bad. So you want to change it anyway. But I want to go over very first when I started the game. We had no displays, no high voltage uh, to the displays, no high voltage out. Um, there's a test point up here. I don't want to touch anything because it's live right now. Test point up here at the top is test point four. Uh, you hit that one in ground and, and uh, I think it's like 220 to 250 volts or so. Yeah, I know you're on. I'm watching you. And uh, that one read fine. I think it was at 245 or so. And then we have test point two, which is the one this black lead is on right now. It should have read uh, 190 volts, and it was actually the exact same as test point four. So that told me that I needed to rebuild the entire high voltage section. And I, anytime your uh, your two voltages match, you're going to have to have to rebuild the high voltage section. So then I started ordering the parts. Um, I got. All of the resistors changed. This one here, it's R251, I do believe. It was completely burnt out. Uh, the two round transistors were bad. Um, there's a different transistor that goes here. kind of looks like a mini bottle cap transistor. It was bad. I replaced it with this one, which is a BUX850, or no, 85G, and it's beefier. And eventually it did blow on me again. I was telling you in the last video, but this one, with it being beefier, it held. And I don't know if it was because of the problem and me turning it off fast enough, but it was okay. So the second time, I've uh, rebuilt... Well, I wouldn't even call it a rebuild. I put these two new transistors in. That one was good. Um, our, our high voltage fuse never blew, but the displays just went out. And it worked for like... I didn't, I didn't finish. Let me finish. Let me start all over. Not all over, but... So we, we replaced this, this one was beefier. Replaced all the um, transistors. The diode at CR21, just above the black lead here, was a 1N4004, and I upgraded it to a 1N4007, which is recommended. Um, they didn't recommend any upgraded wattage on any of the resistors, but this is the one that kept burning out here, the R51. I checked uh, these little flat ceramic caps. They were okay. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I did. Oh, they got this big resistor up top. It's a, yeah, you can see it. It's, it's a, uh, a one watt. And then I turned the game on after I had rebuilt everything. Doing just like I'm doing now. I tested, I had 190 at test point four and 230 at test point, uh, or, 190 at test point two and 230 at test point four. And I was able to adjust the voltage down to about 175, I put it at. So your voltage, your uh, displays need to run at 170 to 190. At 190 is max, you can turn it down and run them at 170 and it just prolongs the life. So that's what you use that pot right there for, the little blue pot. You wanna be careful adjusting that too. Um, if you're using like the new displays, you don't have to worry about this because they run on 5 volts, I think. You don't even need the high voltage section. But I let them run and I actually played a game, game and a half, and I heard a tick. And all the displays went out. And so I came in, checked the fuse was good. And then that's where I kind of get into the explanation into the last video. Um, so... That was good, the beefier uh, transistor. This is the line where the voltage goes out. It comes in through uh, test point four, and it goes through these 
two transistors and, and this this top section is out so it comes down it goes to through those two transistors and it actually comes in through this resistor here down here at the bottom the one that burned up and then goes up and around these guys then goes back out through the uh the potentiometer and it comes out over here somewhere so these these guys the resistor was burned out again these two were bad that one was good so i knew coming to this resistor i had measured voltage was good after the resistor i think we had 250 on this bottom leg and at the top leg it was 12 volts so it looked like that revert resistor was bad but you could leave it there. It, it should have went like red hot, I would have thought, if it was that was the problem and it was getting bad right there. Hi, Willow. We see you. She wants to be on YouTube. Um, so I knew I was having a problem there, and I tested everything, in and out of circuit. Um, the This diode that's kind of off the board, it's silver up here in the middle. That's a hard-to-get one. Um, Great Plains actually had... It's this was the one that was supposed to be in there is whatever the numbers are version a seven eight two five a no 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 we're on right now okay I'll let you play in a little bit uh, and then they actually have seven eight two five version B which is a perfect replacement for us anyway they have a limited number I ordered five but I might order more just because I fixed these machines not just for my own. Um, so I, I got one of those and everything else had been tested and changed. And even though the diode that was there, I tested and it was good. I pulled it out and there were numbers on the bottom of it that I didn't notice while I was testing out a circuit. It was the wrong part. So even though it, it tested good, it was wrong for this application. And it looks like it was either letting uh, juice back through or it, whatever it was doing, it was causing those two transistors to blow. And then that was causing us to have too much resistance on R51. I think this is the problem. So I've also gone through all my displays, each one, one by one. I don't need to be that close. And and just made sure all their, their little driver boards were good. There's a lot of uh, 100 ohm resistors. Let's see if I can get a good look at it. Like here's a good example. These are 100 ohm quarter watt resistors. And then up here are another bank. Now these, the middle ones, were completely shot. These are the only. Dis this is the only display driver that I had that that actually had bad resistors, but a lot of them are burnt. The, the this set of three and this set of three, and I put a half watt in there instead of a quarter watt, and I ordered enough to do all of them. I'm going to change all of them to a half watt. That should save that from burning up there. I do have one display that's an older version. And it didn't have that problem at all. I, don't, I can't tell right off, right away which one it was. So where I'm at now is I have all new parts in again. You know, let me. There we go. I have all new parts in up here again. Now I have what I think is the proper diode. I am testing test point two, which I want to have um, this plug, this plug, and this plug. Uh, unplugged only these two and I want to uh, unhook I think it was a J3 or J4 the bottom left of the MPU that keeps anything from going to my displays or any uh, power going to the MPU that I don't want to and now I'm just holding on test point two which I wanted it to be 170 to 190 it was right at 190 when I started it. And so I dialed it down to one point, or is 171.9. <clears throat> now it's creeped up a little bit and, and it did that within like the first 30 seconds or so. And it's held pretty steady here, 172.3. It's gone to 172.4 and then come back to 172.2 a couple times. But it, it's basically been at 172 for about 10 minutes now. As long as I've been explaining this plus another five or six minutes. So what I'm going to do next, now that I know that the voltage is holding, high voltage is holding good, I'm going to I have my best display out of the five and the one player spot. I'm going to turn everything off. I'm going to uh, replug all my disconnected connectors. And I'm going to only replug in um, the uh, display for one player. 
Then I'll turn it on and we'll let it roll for 10 minutes and I'll put it on the display test where it runs cycles through the numbers. And then I'll do the same thing where I'm holding the meter on here for about 10 minutes to make sure everything holds with display one. And then we'll go to display two and, and so forth until we can get all five. And if all five hold, then I would say I'm ready to play a game with some displays, finally. <laughs> I guess technically, <clears throat> sorry. I guess technically I can play after the first one works. I can just play with one display, but that'll tell me that everything is good. Uh, and the back box, as far as tidying it up and stuff, I, there are a, a couple issues maybe with the, the lamp driver board we'll need to look at. Blocking out our light. Uh, there's a few uh, lights that don't light up and it could be I haven't I haven't done all of these connectors with uh, header pins and um, the female pins or whatever you want to call the two but once I do that I expect probably everything to clear up but that'll be in the next one this one let's just go ahead and focus on the displays and and I think they're gonna work fine this time I don't think there should be a snafu I think the problem really was is that I took it even though that part was good I took it as original where I should have after I had a problem and and when you realize that your your voltage doesn't match there's a problem unless it's 190 if it's high then it's another problem and if it's really low then it means that that diode is bad and so I was like okay let me check that diode it was good so I moved on where I should have pulled it and verified that it was a correct part but at least I found it before I I you know went through this five, six times, which is most important is replacing parts. You're not, a, you're, you may get it to work, but you're not actually fixing the problem that caused those parts to go bad. You got to remember that. Why did they go bad? So you got to look at that circuit a little bit and either upgrade something or, or replace something earlier in the circuit that failed. That's causing, causing the problem down the line, but let's go ahead and plug in a display and we'll see how that one works. I'm Walter Day, the father of esports, and you're watching Maddie Mo's Arcade. Okay, we have our displays plugged in. I plugged in my plugs on my board, which I didn't do the first time I tried to film this, and it didn't come out right. Um, so hopefully I delete that part. Let's go to voltage, DC volts. Turn this light on. So we have just the player one display plugged in. Everything, all the boards are plugged in now. Okay, fire in a hole. Okay, now let's just see. We have the right voltage. Let's check the display. We have a display. And it's not actually flashing like that in real life, just on camera. Our display looks good. Check this voltage again. 172. So what I'm gonna do is just keep my eye on this and make sure that it holds. As long as uh, we hold about 10 minutes at 172, we'll go ahead and plug in the second display and continue on. But I Okay, so I got all four where they were in, they were on and tested and everything still held for about 20 minutes, even with everything in. So we're good to go. The third display over here, it was kind of, uh, uh, it just wasn't all the way in. It was a little dim and a couple of the numbers were worse than the other ones. So I think it just needs a little love. So I just went ahead and unplugged it for now. And, but I do want to play a game with the displays on. And then after that, we'll go over all the parts and their locations. That way you know what I used and uh, where it was located at. Let's see how she goes. All right, so those look good. New uh, player three was gonna be iffy. Let's see, I want to move this in a way that we can see the score in the pinball machine. I 
it's pretty close as long as I don't bump it. <laughs> All right. Get stuff in the way over here. That'll work though. All right, first game with displays. Still have some lights to figure out though. Maybe the first two games. That was pretty pretty quick. Easy Willow. I guess he's gonna come play. <laughs> Climb up here and lift your butt. Go on. Go on. If you're not gonna play, go on. It's a little bit more level than the last time. I did play it a little bit, but it, it's, it's not perfect. I'm gonna have to get some shims or something. All right, you gonna get down or are you gonna play? Come on, you're not doing anything but looking at me. Oh, yeah, right. oh no, Zeus is in here too, he wants to play. Pinball, the cat babysitter. Feels like it's moving so slow. I had to front up too high or something. Just seems like it won't roll down to me. Alright, maybe we can do a little better without the cat. Still not level. <laughs> I could definitely feel it. Spinner works well. already played I think longer than I got to play last time before I blew the displays. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off now that way I don't drive my roommate crazy and um, I'll let, I'm gonna leave it on anyway just to make sure it doesn't blow but I'm gonna get ready and get the list out and then we'll go over the parts that it took. So these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it too. Super what if I didn't get what I want? <laughs> <laughs> That comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.